you can say a big amen. Every of your sorrow today becomes a testimony. The louder your amen, the bigger your miracles. I say today is the beginning of new things in your life and your household. I decree and I declare you will not shed a sorrowful tear this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. From today, your heaven is open. Can I hear you shout a better amen? Thank God today is Friday. We want to thank God, people of God, that we're able to sit a very wonderful day like this. And I want you to join me in this day of Friday, 16th August 2024. Brethren, I am bringing to us our normal program that comes up every Friday called Thank God is Friday. I want us to pray and commit this Friday into the hand of Almighty God. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we want to thank you as you have made it possible for us to see a brand new day like this. Papa, we ask so God that this day will not bring any judgment unto us. It will bring a blessing of God unto our lives. Mighty Father, we bless your name, O God. Thank you for what you are doing and what you are about to do. Receive all glory and honor. In Jesus' most wonderful name I have prayed. Amen. People of God, I want you to join me today, Friday. Thank God that you are partaking in this wonderful day of Friday. Thank God for what God is going to do. The topic says, trusting in God, you overcome your fear. And I'm going to take my text in the book of Second Kings, chapter 6. I will read a short verse and I want you to join me as I'm reading this verse from verse 14. Therefore he sent Tida horses and chariots and a great horse and they came by night and compassed the city. And when the servant of the man of God was risen up and and gone forth, behold, and host compassed the city, both with horses and chariots. And his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. Last night, I read verse 17. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may, he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. Many of uh, brethren, there is no time for us. We are going to look into the verses I read from verse 14 to 17. What is the Bible talking about? I don't know the time your enemy 
have risen against you. Is it by day? Is it by night? Thank God today is Friday. I want to let you know. I don't want to know when they are coming after you. All I want to see is that I want you to see that God is around you. And whatever enemies that is before you, as I am talking to you now, I want you to join me to begin to pray over your challenges in today's topic. Trusting in the Lord. The Lord is always with you. The Lord is always with us. At any time, any time, any day, the Lord is there for you. I, want, I don't want to know what is before you. What I want to let you know is that as you trust with me, with what God is doing, that same God will meet you at the point of your need. I want you to pray over that your situation. I don't know what, you, what, what has confronted you last night. I don't know what maybe you must have, you know, soak your pillow with, uh, with, with, with uh, tears. You never uh, close your eyes last night. But what I want to let you know, like the Bible said, a weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. The child of God, I want you to pray. There is no mountain that God cannot solve. There is no problem that God cannot meet. The God we are serving is a living God. He's able to surmount that your problem, that your situation you are passing about. Are you a man or a woman? You have been crying so long. Today marks an end of your situation. It doesn't matter wherever they are enchanting over your name, where they have placed your name or your image and say, no way. I want to encourage you. The Lord is going to open your eyes today to see where God is taking you. Praise the Lord. I want to also remind you what happened to uh, Joseph at. There came a point, a point in time in Israelites. Nations rose up against Israelites. When Joseph had was the king, the Bible says in Second Chronicle, chapter 20, from verse 1, you know the story I'm talking about. Instead of him getting much afraid, he called upon the name of the Lord. And God answered him. And the singers and the priests, they sang and they prayed. And God answered them and fought the war for them. The same God is going to fight your battle. You don't need to trouble your heart. You don't need to fight. What you need to do, if it is praises, you are going to pray. If it is uh, uh, singing, we are going to sing. And I want you to help me present that problem to God right away. Whatever the situation, whatever the enemy that has confronted you now, I want you to begin to pray, child of God. God is going to fight that battle. He's going to lay an ambush to your enemy's camp, to whoever that has set their heart. To fight you, that situation is going to be over. It's going to be over today. I, child of God, I want to hear testimonies of contentment upon this mountain. I am telling you what the Lord we are serving is going to do. The same way he fought the battle for uh, uh, Elisha, he's going to fight the same battle for you, dear, listening to my voice. The Lord is going to remove every trouble that troubles your life because in your life you are carrying the mark of Jesus Christ according to the book of Galatians chapter 6 verse 17. Let no body trouble you because in your body you are carrying the marks of Jesus Christ. You know, there is no way the enemy can be able to touch you because uh, I'm rounding up. I want you to join me in this following prayer points. I want you to pray and commit your life unto God. Any foundation that have blindfolded your eyes that you cannot see what is before you, 
that you cannot get to your level. I want you to pray about it. Begin now to pray concerning that situation. I God, open my eyes to see what is before me. What is holding your blessing? What is holding your career? Your journey? Your traveling? Whatever that is holding, Lord, open my eyes to see and roll away that mountain. Begin to pray, begin to pray. As you are praying, I want you also to pray. Is there any foundational problem? Your background has been hindering you from forging ahead, from receiving your success. I want you to pray that, oh Lord, help me to be an overcomer as I keep on trusting God. Lord, help me. I am an overcomer of every challenges of life. I will move forward. I want you to pray that prayer. Begin to pray that prayer right now. The Lord is listening. He's hearing you. Wherever you are, all over the world, I want you to begin to pray that prayer. Pray that prayer as I'm praying with you. The Lord is doing something new in your life. There will be testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, my God, as they hear you today, Lord, the same God that reigned all over the world. Papa, answer your sons and daughters. Answer your children. Papa, lift them, oh God, from the, that situation they are passing through. Papa, Lord, even in this convention that is going on in Mountain of Solution, here in Lagos, Maryland, Jehovah King of Glory, People will come from afar to testify what you are doing, touching lives in various ways all over the world. Mighty Father, meet them at the point of their needs. Papa, King of Glory, as they keep on trusting you, Daddy Jesus, take away every fear. I want you to also pray. Say, Lord, take away fear of failure. You will not fail and you will not disappoint your generation. I want you to pray that prayer. Say, oh Lord my God, I will not disappoint my generation because of fear. Anything that is bringing fear into my life, into your business, into your marriage, into your traveling, whatever situation. Say, Lord, as I keep on trusting you, praying this prayer, Papa, that situation will change now. There will be testimony. Thank you, mighty Jesus. Here also, God, let there be open heaven for your sons and daughters who have listened under my voice today. My Father, my God, who have been answering me, O oh God, mighty Jesus, in this mountain, let there be move of God. Let the glory of God take over them. Let the anointing of God take over them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. You are getting this word from Mountain of Solution Ministries International Incorporated here in Nigeria, Lagos. We are having our 25th uh, co uh, annual convention, Silver Jubilee, we are having now. A lot of wonderful things is going on presently. I want you to visit the church here in Maryland. People are testifying the wonders of God in this place. You cannot be left out. Don't miss this opportunity. Tomorrow may be too late. I want you to take that decision and take a step of faith and come in his presence. You will meet here, you will meet with us. There are ministers, there are men of God, anointed men of God, full of power full of uh, 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 anointing of God upon their life. I am pastor, best man, Chica. You are hearing the voice today. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. We we'll meet again next time. Amen. Bless you. Why is your family has not bless you. Never you are welcome to our channel, Mountain of Solution Ministries International. Please, we want to plead with you to not forget to you know, subscribe to our channel, comment, like, and share.
please let us do this work together. God bless you. Love you. Love you.